So this is it. An hour before the kids arrive. Whew, I'm not feeling it right now. This is not the best time to be feeling down. Not the best time to be being judo. But that's okay. We're going to push through, get some good footage. Like, like right now we're doing a commissioning, which is pretty much just saying, here we go, let's, let's pray about things. Let's, let's get the message out. Let's make each other pumped for it so that we can all stand together and stuff. Hello everyone, my name is Judah and welcome today to another daily vlog. Now it's the third and technically the first day of kids camp. Now what I mean by that, we've had two days of leaders training and we're just starting today with the kids. The kids are arriving. That's what I'm trying to say. I don't speak good English. I'm sorry, I try and English is my first language so don't even try me on different languages. But right now, pretty much we've got the, the last few things of leaders training. They're all behind me in the hall that away. I should be in there ASAP filming because that's my job and it's going to be interesting. It's tug of war and that usually makes for some good filming. Just the, the faces, the sheer like... <laughs> but I forgot. I gotta get in there. Wow, that session was incredible. Now, just the thing that was talked about was super relatable to me. It was quite a bit about dreams and, and you know, the future. For me, I'm a, such a big dreamer. I have huge dreams that I think are slightly unattainable. And one of the things that really, really stood out to me and something that is really relatable is about talking to God and wanting to know the future and wanting to know what his plan is for us. And one thing that I forget and it's so important and, and that was reminded of me is what if I knew? Would I still try this hard? Would I get up every single day, make a daily vlog? Would I do what I think is impossible? If I was told, hey, Judy, you're going to do this, would I have made 150 vlogs for nothing? Would I have even bothered to start yet? Would I have done all that I have? And that is something that has gone over my head numerous times and I need to get it stuck in there because it's so true so accurate and so good I mean that whole thing especially especially the end where she she sits with a poem the speaker and uh, I don't know what it is about spoken poem and words but it always tends to really hit me because it's an art form it's beautiful Especially when done incredibly with such a powerful meaning is incredible. And believe me, that was beautiful, amazing. And I'm the sort of person that wants to run over and go, oh my word, you are fantastic. But because I'm me, I'm like, eh, I don't want to talk. I'm scared. But pretty much now that that's over, I think there's like a 10 minute break. No, there is a 10 minute break. And after that, we're going into another little session thing, a seminar this time. Hopefully it's enjoyable. Hopefully it's as interesting. Honestly, I've struggled to pay attention this camp just because my mind has been in other places. And I'm not sure why. It's really weird because I've been really, really positive, but then not as open almost. And that, that, that's quite concerning. I don't know how to feel about that, if I'm honest. <laughs> Just finished up with another session it was just a weird one you know about what's expected of us and signing forms and stuff like that to say we're not gonna rape the kids actually no no that that's not what at all 
uh, what? But after that, I shot up to Connors just to upload a video, take some photographs for him, and for some reason to spray paint something. Anywho, back to the camp on the longboard. What? Hello. Goodbye, Connor. Oh, I'm stop. Oh, oh, oh. Dang it! Judah made the mistake of leaving his camera with me, and he stole my unicycle. Love you, Judah. So this is it, an hour before the kids arrive. Whew, I'm not feeling it right now. This is not the best time to be feeling down, not the best time to be being Judah, but that's okay. We're gonna push through, get some good footage. Like, like right now we're doing a commissioning, which is pretty much just saying, here we go, let's, let's pray about things, let's, let's get the message out, let's make each other pumped for it so that we can all stand together and stuff. That probably doesn't make much sense, but I honestly don't care. I'm gonna go in there, get to filming, get to photographing, and have a good time. All the children have arrived, which is really interesting. They've got them all in one dining area and the sheer number of them. I walk into the room and I'm like, oh my word. Like literally, that, that's what I said. There's so many of them, it's crazy. And I get the opportunity to film all of them and that sounds creepy, but I swear it's not. I'm gonna do the absolute best job that I possibly can, be ginger, uh, which as I always say, I don't really have a choice, and just have some fun. I need to get in there and film them eating because I need more footage for tomorrow's highlights video and that's super important.